Richmond Public Schools has released some of its recent mold reports for a few schools across the district, but still more testing needs to be done, including here at Clark Springs Elementary School, where teachers say mold is growing on the ceilings. Mold in the classroom. Some Richmond teachers say it's a growing issue impacting school buildings. Our building is suffering from a very significant mold problem. These pictures shared with CBS 6 from Bouchal Middle School showing fungal growth on lockers, desks, and chairs. And staff at Clark Springs say mold is spreading on ceiling tiles, causing them to get sick. I know from speaking with multiple staff members that we are all suffering from upper respiratory infections, sore throats, stuffy noses, brain fog, and itchy, watery eyes. New emails obtained by CBS 6 show concerns raised by Bouchal staff members to Superintendent Jason Cameras at the beginning of the school year. Year. One teacher writing in August, I had to stand all day because of the visible furry stuff on chairs and desks. Another teacher writing, as someone with adult asthma, the conditions of the classroom are concerning. Then at Fox, a parent wrote the school board last week that their student described a substance dripping on him from the ceiling tiles and started feeling better after wearing a mask. Now the district has an action plan. According to the school board presentation, Two tests have been conducted at parts of Bouchal since August. The first showed heavy levels of fungal growth. So the facilities team completed some cleaning and a follow-up test indicated no more fungal growth in the tested areas. Now a third test of the full building has been requested and should be completed within two weeks. Over at Clark Springs, RPS spent $20,000 on mold remediation efforts before Fox moved in after the fire. And a 2022 report found no elevated readings of mold. However, in light of new concerns, an updated assessment is scheduled for this Wednesday, and next steps will be recommended from there. Teachers say they'd like to see long term solutions. What message does it send to parents and staff members when the solutions that we're seeing are? Essentially aesthetic band-aids swapping out a ceiling tile doesn't resolve the underlying issue. Now the Richmond School Board is expected to take up this issue tonight at their meeting, which is happening at Huguenot High School at 6 o'clock.